So about a week ago I did an unboxing of a Razer Laptop 15 base model and uh, just kind of testing it. Uh, and then now this time I have a, a MacBook Pro uh, 15 2018 latest model. So I'm kind of looking for a laptop that I can use every day and uh, for all my video editing, uh, photography and um, just looking for the best experience. Uh, online there's a lot of debates between uh, MacBook Pros not being good for rendering for video editing that you should stay away from that if you're going to be using Premiere Pro uh, So I kind of just purchased both and gave it a try. Uh, here's a little unboxing uh, Kind of fast forward it. You guys already seen a lot of these Power charger, uh, cable. The brake's a little big. You guys gonna judge for yourselves. Uh, it's like 10 times bigger than the connector uh, for the iPhone. MacBook Pro feels really good, I'm very thin, um, really can't, can't beat it, I really m wish they would have added more connectors to it, a card reader or regular USB, but all they did was a f four ports of Thunderbolt. This machine does have Siri, so you have to set it up. Uh, it's another nice feature. iCloud, so all your files are going to be uploaded. Not too sure about this True Tone. Uh, it's supposed to be if, if you're uh, daylight or close to, depending on what lighting you have around you. You guys can see there for yourselves. Almost done setting up. There we are, uh, up and running. There's a lot of updates at the beginning. It took about maybe three hours for all the updates to run and download. And then after that, I installed the new uh, iOS software. It came with the MacBook, uh, the Mac iOS High Sierra.
to then on to install uh, Adobe uh, Premiere Pro and Photoshop and all the other good stuff we, we all like. So now, now to the creating part. Uh, here's a, there's four boxes. I'm gonna be throwing in there uh, 4K video from iPhone or GoPro. So this is kind of like the main reason why I want this machine. Um, so all the preview windows running pretty good. It's at half. Uh, I don't see any drop boxes or drop frames. No lagging. You can see there it's another box being added. It's still running pretty smooth. Uh, shortly the other one's gonna add There's three still no drop frames There's that fourth one, it's still not dropping. So for a creator, uh, this is very important. You don't want to be have your preview box on jittery and stuff. So here's another test I did on the Razer. Uh, same footage from a GoPro 4K. You could see where it's, with three screens, it's already jittery. So that's my non-professional kind of test I did and uh, same. So one of the biggest complaints I see on YouTube and everybody else is uh, complaining about the render time. Uh, I'm okay with waiting a little bit longer for render if, if I can, if the Adobe is running smooth and I can kind of play with it and uh, an extra few minutes is, is okay for me. Here's a, just a preview, it did take about 12 minutes for a five minute video. So let me, let me know whatever you guys think guys this is just my five cents here in this uh this whole fight uh does it macbook pro can it's okay for video editing or not uh, so far a week later i'm pretty happy with it